So we've been getting some questions lately from customers about how well does the Kaya arm work with the canoe. So we set up a couple of Kaya arms today to try that out. Uh, we set them, you'll see, we set them nine feet apart, which is uh, because we have a 17 foot long canoe. Um, the other one I'll show you later is we've done uh, extended the arms and there's a separate video on what we've done to extend the arms. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the canoe over. We're gonna lower the canoe down. My assistant's gonna get in first and hold. I'm gonna get in second and hold. Then we're gonna get back out again and we're gonna take it and raise the canoe and flip it over. Um, and so uh, one of the important things is to, if you're ever gonna store the, a canoe on a kayak arm is to flip it over. If the canoe were to ever fill with rainwater, uh, it'd be far too heavy for the for the kayak arm, and it could damage it could damage it or rip it off from your rip it off from your dock. Okay, so what I'm going to do is flip the canoe over, and then my assistant's going to come, and we're going to lower it down into the water. So you can see that was fairly easy. Now the kayak arm is going to sit just about just a little bit in front of where the seat is, and where she sits down. Okay. So we're going to take it, and uh, now normally we have a, we do have a, 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 a jig that you can use to help you as opposed to grabbing on the chain. We find grabbing on the chain isn't a big deal, but we have a lot of customers who really like the jig. So go to our other videos on the jig and you can have a look how that works for you, but today we're just going to use our hand. So drop it in, and we're going to drop it all the way down. I'm going to drop my kaya arm all the way to the bottom because we only use one kaya arm for stabilization and that's the one at the front. So my assistant's going to take her paddle, she's going to step into the canoe and she's going to steady it and then I'm going to get in after her. Okay. So I'm going to set my, I'm going to set my uh, paddle here. I'm going to step down into the canoe. And you can see, and you can see, you know, if there's some stability here. It's not perfect, like I can still rock it a little bit, but it's enough for me to, uh, stable enough for me to get in and out, okay? So what I was going to do, I come back, and I always, if you use a canoe, you always use your paddle along the gunnel. So I, I did a, to demonstrate a very, very poor behavior, but you, what you use is you use your, your uh, paddle along your gunnel, and that's the best way to distribute your weight evenly as you, as you get around the canoe. So we're gonna get out. So if we went up for paddle, we go for paddle and we come back in, and Margo would pull us up onto the arm, and then she would hold it, and then I would get out of the canoe. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So I'm gonna step, use my paddle crossways here, push myself up, and step out of the uh, canoe. And then uh, my assistant's gonna do the same. Step up, grab a hold of the arm. Pass, okay. So then we're gonna do the center paddle down. And uh, I'm going to bring up the, the, the canoe a little bit, and we're just going to raise it up. Now we could do that individually. I could go, if, if I was by myself, I could go and raise them individually, but we just did it that way. So now what they're going to do is, again, one of the most important things to do is to flip your kayak and not leave it stored like this. If it ever gets up the rainstorm, it's going to be bad news for everybody. So it's a bit of a trick. You have to take it up on your... Take it up on the side, and what you do, you sit down on your dock a little bit, and you just use your feet to help push it out. Push it out, use your toes, and you just set it in place like there. Now you can see where I've checked to make sure that the, uh, that the gunnel, this part here, is in fact sitting on the, on the, on the outboard side, that it's sitting on the arm itself. And uh, that's very important when you to figure out exactly where to place your... Uh, your Kaya arms, and you can see down at the other end, I've done the same thing quite nicely. Um, you can see the little bit of extension, you can see how that goes, and the end of the arm is roughly right here. So, you know, you maybe not even need the extension, but it's certainly all you need is another four inch extension to, uh, to get it all to work for you. Thanks very much for watching today. Happy paddling.